paused vaccine trials, shredded heart muscles, and infected brains. These are a few of the coronavirus news stories that caught our eyes this week. AstraZeneca and Oxford University have paused their trial of a COVID-19 vaccine after a trial participant developed a suspected adverse reaction. But don't worry, this is exactly how clinical trials are supposed to work. Whenever a trial participant develops an unexplained illness, the company stops administering the vaccine to additional people, while an independent committee determines whether the reaction was related to the vaccine or not. In a large trial with tens of thousands of participants, people sometimes fall ill by chance and their illness may not be related to the vaccine itself. In this case, a woman in the UK-based trial for the Oxford vaccine developed neurological symptoms often associated with transverse myelitis, a condition where the spinal cord becomes inflamed. The woman is now recovering from the condition in the hospital, but her diagnosis still needs to be confirmed and investigators are still determining whether the reaction was at all related to the vaccine. When the coronavirus infects heart cells in a lab dish, the pathogen snips heart muscle fibers into tiny fragments. However, we don't yet know if the same thing happens in the human body. Heart muscle cells, known as cardiomyocytes, are made up of small units called sarcomeres that line up end to end to form long, thin muscle fibers. But when exposed to SARS-CoV-2 in a lab dish, sarcomeres get sliced and diced into tiny bits. If this happened to a person's heart, it couldn't beat normally. The study authors also examined heart tissue autopsied from three COVID-19 patients. They found that the sarcomere filaments inside were also disordered and rearranged, but not exactly in the same way as the cells in the lab dish. The scientists are now studying how the virus actually causes these changes in cells, whether the changes happen in the human body, and whether this damage can be prevented or reversed with medications. A new study suggests that the coronavirus might sometimes directly infect brain cells, which may explain some of the neurological symptoms reported by patients. Scientists found that the virus can enter brain cells through the ACE2 receptor, the same receptor it exploits to infect other cells in the body. Brain tissue contains far fewer ACE2 receptors than say lung or kidney tissue, but still enough receptors for the virus to potentially slip inside. Once inside cells, the virus uses the machinery in the brain cells to multiply and saps oxygen from surrounding cells to fuel its reproduction. The study authors must now determine how commonly the virus infects brain cells directly in COVID-19 patients, since neurological symptoms can also arise from inflammation in the body caused by infection elsewhere. Check out the links below for the full stories. For Live Science, I'm Nicoletta Lanise.